What's up guys, welcome to the first video on Talbot's fishing and so what I'm going to be doing on this channel is basically fishing of course and teaching you some fishing knots and what rods to use when offshore fishing and what rods to use when inshore fishing and all that sort of stuff so let's get into the video so today's video vlog thing number one vlog today um is i have this 50 pound line just here by jarvis walker and i'm going to be teaching you how to do a offshore rig with a dropper loop down the bottom so you can put a sinker on and two um butterfly loops i think they're called so you can attach hooks so let's get into this so what you do is you get to line you get about well for the first one you get about uh, about 40 centimeters of line i don't know it in inches but so you make a little loop right you make a loop like that and there's a bit of dangly thingy and what you do is you basically grab that and you twist it but you always have to keep something like your finger in this loopy thing here and it's very very difficult but you just have to grab this and just dangle it well not dangle it but twist it around and round it's easier just to twist it like that and then you put this loop through these loops here like that and then you pull but this one didn't really turn out very well but that's why you get bigger things but if you're doing inshore fishing down at like near entrances near where I live down in lakes entrance um you can put a little thing in there but this won't be an offshore one this will be just an inshore one i'll show you some offshore ones in a minute so you have your dropper loop here all good let me just I'm gonna focus on this not my face it's not gonna focus i don't think but so this one, as I said, won't be an offshore one. But now I need to find my scissors things to cut the line. So I found them just here. I bought these from BCF. They're little line cutters. And what I'm going to do is with this excess line, I'm going to cut it. Just like that. Since you cut your excess, excess line off, so you go about another 30 centimetres from it and what you do is, let me pop this around here because I'm left handed, is you, well I like to put my foot on there, but let me just, I'm going to find a little bit better and then you make another loop, doesn't have to be very big this one, but it has to be away from your drop a loop thing, so you make a loop like that. What you do is now, let me get that out of the way too, is you twist like this. I know it's very bad, but I'll do another video when the camera's facing around the other way. Because right now, this camera is face is towards my face. So, sorry about that. So, you twist it, twist it, twist it about six to eight times, and then you pull like this i literally learned this about three hours ago so i'm pretty proud of myself because i will be doing a fair bit of offshore fishing maybe and now what i like to do is i like to do a couple couple normal knots so it stays i like to do two or three i'll do two for this one since this one isn't going to be an offshore one so, like that, it looks really ugly right now, but, yep, 
and you do that for the other side. So doing it again, just putting your foot down and need to let out more line because for the last ones I've been doing has been terrible but they've actually been decent for offshore ones. Like it doesn't have to be neat, it just has to be good. My friend made one for me which I will be hopefully doing some videos on his boat offshore fishing and I've finally got an editor so I can edit videos because I have another channel it's Aussie Reptilians because I have reptiles I have a couple blueies and my license should be in but it's not and I'm really disappointed but you know this is what you get with government sorry if you support government but yep yeah. so that one doesn't look too shabby but and then I'll do a couple knots again. Like that this one is a bit ugly, but you know, who cares? So like that. So you got your. Let me get a sinker out, and I'll show you what it's like. So here it's just a big sinker, and my rooms a mess now. But so I have. Oops. Let me just cut the line with my scissors so is that good where's the end there holy crap I've stuffed that but you know what who cares so let me cut this line here put that 50 pound over there and oh no I haven't I haven't stuffed it don't worry I'm just really tripping out so you have your oh this sink is way too big but there's a hole in there where is it there my lizard's gone spastic. Um, and you just basically pop that through there. As I said, this sink is way too big for this. But, you know, what? I'm going to try it. And this line won't fit through the hole. Yeah, as I said, my friend made me one with 80 pounds. So when we go out shark fishing on his boat, down at Lake's entrance or so, somewhere like that. But you put it through there and normally you put it around. But it's not going to work this time. But so that's a rig there. Hey, that actually probably could be an offshore rig. Just need to cut that off and make a new one. But so thanks for watching this video. My first ever video. And so let me do one more thing. Oh my god, I hate this camera. Yeah, my fingers are ugly. So. And then you have... A loop here and another loop there and then you tie a swivel on and then you connect it to your line and yeah so next video I'll be doing is basically all my rods and a couple of them are out in the shed which I probably won't show you maybe I don't know that's it but thanks for watching and make sure you like subscribe and thanks for watching see you later